Welcome to the SM Tech booth here at SMTA International. Uh, I'm delighted to be joined by Bryce Timms. Nice to see you, uh, Bryce. Thanks, nice to see okay. you too, Trevor. Yeah, uh, of course I should mention that SM Tech is uh, part of a nano dimension company, uh, which is uh, your, your, your parent company. Um, we're looking today at the Fox uh, pick and place machine and dispenser. Uh, this is a system that's, um, you know, particularly suited for MPI and, and, and uh, low volume work. Uh, but maybe you can take us a, a run through some of the key features. Yeah, absolutely. So we're very excited to be here with uh, our smaller form factor um, combination pick and place and dispense machine. Uh, it's outfitted with a um, our VDSD shockwave jet dispensing nozzle for solder paste. Mm -hmm. uh, we're showcasing very small dot sizes and high speed here, high accuracy on what the- What size uh, dot do you go down to? We're, this week we've been showcasing right around 270 micron dots. Um, we've been working with all the paste manufacturers around some some smaller dot sizes. So there'll be more to share about that in the near future. Okay, okay. So you, you, you've been working with um, smaller uh, uh, solder paste uh, sizes as well, haven't you? Correct, yes. correct. Um, giving us the ability to deal with tighter pitches, tighter mm -hmm. tolerances, um, and uh, more flexibility as things continue to get smaller and smaller. Right. Right, and it's an interesting machine because although it's it's doing uh, NPI and fairly low volume, it is built with um, linear motors. So it's got it's got it's got the potential speed and, and uh, accuracy uh, that you get off a bigger machine. Very much, and uh, you know, this last year through uh, some changes and improvements in our software, we've been able to increase our accuracy by about 20 microns, our placement accuracy right. um, on the machine. So very excited about that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so, um, what, what other uh, features? Uh, you've got your your dual lane uh, feeders here. Uh, this is the an eight millimeter feeder, but it's got two four millimeter tapes. Correct, and um, that really allows us to load up a high feeder capacity on these machines. Uh, mm -hmm. Smaller form factor machine here, only being about a meter um, in size we're able to outfit it with up to 208 millimeter feeder locations right. on one machine. Wow. So with pick and place capability and the uh, um, high placement accuracy and the jetting capability, it's really a powerful machine. Absolutely, yeah, very versatile. Uh, now I see you've got some, um, like, uh, it's like jetting trays at the back there. So, so uh, how does that work at the back? The, 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 does the they slide forward when you need them? Absolutely, and the reason for that is it's going to minimize the or maximize the amount of feeder capacity on the machine. So we're not right. interfering with our, our lane feeders, um, and we're still gaining the access and capacity for those larger form factor tray parts. Okay, okay. Um, you've got another thing here at, uh, which does electrical test uh, at, at the front. Correct. How does that work? It's important for pre placement verification, right? Uh, you know, a lot of components can look the same to a camera system, similar sizes, but have different electrical values. So mm -hmm. we're able to test our uh, inductance capacitance and uh, resistance on those flip chip components prior to placing them on the board. Right, right, okay, good. Um, maximum board size? On this guy here today, uh, 12 by 16, but the conveyors can be extended out to handle up to a 1.7 meter uh, long board on this machine. Wow. wow, that's obviously for the LEDs and things like that. Correct. Yeah, yeah. okay. Great, well, um, you know, versatile machine. I believe you've got some announcements coming out though uh, at Productronica. Um, Absolutely. Um, I don't want to uh, steal the thunder from the uh, the parent company in the group over there, um, mm -hmm. but there will be more exciting news around some new developments, uh, Prototronica, just in a couple weeks. Great. Okay. Well, we look forward to that. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for telling us, uh, joining us today, Bryce. Absolutely. Thank you for your time.